there are times that there are no words. As I look at the faces and read the names of some of the people killed by one man's actions in Nova Scotia yesterday, my heart is heavy, recognizing the depth of loss that is being felt by all of the victims' families, by their friends, by their neighbors, by their communities and communities of faith, and by their world. As the day has gone on, the news has continued to worsen, with more victims being discovered, and grief deepens. As the United Church of Canada, we wish to say to you, all who are grieving, we are so deeply sorry for your pain and your loss in the deaths of those you love those we love. Please know that the entire church is reaching out to you at this time. As people of faith, we hold each of those who were killed in our love and in our prayers with the certainty that as much as they are dearly missed here, they are safe in God's love. We believe that that same love holds each who are grieving, each who are angry, each who are in shock, each person who has been touched by this horrendous act. People across Canada have been invited to light candles tonight between 8 and 9 p.m. in your time zone, to offer prayer and commit your support to those who are grieving. We are invited to photograph those lights and share them on social media with the hashtag Light for Nova Scotia. Let's light the night sky with our memories and with our love. Will you take a moment to pray with me? Beloved Christ, our scriptures tell us of your tears when you stood with those grieving Lazarus' death. Cry with us now, we pray. Hear the prayers of the tears pouring out. Hear the prayers of the sighs too deep for words. Hear the prayers of hearts that are broken in loss. And hold all who grieve with your love, we pray. Amen.